Yeah, so lately I've been trying out Ghost and Flash on Garen versus Nari. I find it to be really effective, and we're going to see how it does for this game. I'm concerned about our late, though, because we don't have an ADC. Uh, they do. Um, Swain is great late game, but I don't think it matches Cogwobo, so... Yeah, we'll have to see about this one particular fight. Who knows? Who knows? You guys know, knows, guys? I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I don't know, so... I want to try Dwayne's Blade this game. I want to see how we do with that. I think it might be good for the all-ins. Doesn't look like they're invading. Oh, are they? I'm on my way down. Are they going to go for the continued invade or are they just now backing out? Yeah, I see, I see. Okay, yeah. Minions have spawned. My justice is absolute. How's he doing, by the way, though? Mm, not the best uh, start for him, to be honest. He gets his level 2, I suppose, so that's not too bad. Yeah, he's one of the most uh, picked top laners in the game right now. Yeah, they've been doing nothing but buffing this champion for the past, like, two, three years. Because what they did was they nerfed uh, Mini Nara so heavily, so they just started to buff uh, Nara over the course of time, so... Yeah. yeah we're chilling, everybody. Here we go, here we go. Got good scaling runes. I think we'll do fine, but... First out, a few levels versus Nara, like, control the way towards me. He also invites the Shaco too, which is good to see. We're chilling, we're chilling. Not gonna have any kill pressure on him until level 6, because I don't have the damage to it. So. It gives him like Noctane's like level 4, level 5 right now, so. Extended a little bit too hard there. Oh, 
I think I'll be okay here. Gotta be really, really careful though. Got him! There we go! Good stuff. What do I want to see? What I want to see for this one, boys and girls. Let's get a shot back. Stuff is down. Oh, got the flash too. Amazing. Outstanding. Exactly what we want to see on this one, boys and girls. And now we're going to go get some stuff and head back top. Yeah, I think Dorn's play played a part in that fight. Eight attack damage is definitely pretty potent for all ends compared to Dorn's shield, which doesn't provide any combat towards champions, so... Not bad, not bad. I think I want to go Bramble this game, because if I uh, register assist with Bramble, it extends my ghost. So yeah, if you guys are running Ghost Slash Garen, consider going for Bramble over Executioners. Yeah, you want to get as many assists as you can to uh, keep that... Reset by so I think I think Bramble might be a really good choice this game. After stride. Yeah, we'll go for like Bramble into Debex into Snarax, and then we go for maybe Force of Nature or something. I mean this is gonna be tough because I uh yeah. It's missing. Yeah, so I gotta be patient for Talon. I could go for this minion, but I don't want to confirm uh, for Nara that I'm here. So I'm gonna forfeit these minions, so that way he has encouragement to uh, possibly push the wave. Yeah, because right now I have no sum, so I'm very, very vulnerable. But he's a gnome here. I'll just go for the cannon, I suppose. That's fine. Darkhawk's taking dragon. Okay, Nocturne can't ult me if I'm uh, out of vision, so... I just want to wait. Oh, uh, the sauce isn't all Nocturne's all ult range, so he like completely wasted it. Yeah, he went bottom down. Alright, that's fine. Alright, his jump is down. It's like a 23 second cooldown. Gotta be careful though, because he has axe still. I got uh, ghost up in a bit, so after he met, uh, emerges from uh, Meganar, I will be able to uh, engage on him. Yeah, that'll be okay. The ghost tech paying off once again, boys and girls. Here we go. I'd like to see. And Talon said so. so. We're gonna get some plates and we're gonna reset here. Nice. I'll take it. Yeah, I like the strat a lot. This is actually pretty potent. I like the chasing potential a lot because Nara kind of, uh, Garen kind of struggles with chasing Nara, but take that ghost though. It's pretty helpful. All right, we're good. Yeah, it'll be good. Nocturne's top side too. You probably might play for held. You have a teleport confirmed now. I'm at full HP anyway, because my health regen, so I can just receive this wave. It's not biggie. Yeah, I don't have any real important purchases, so we can just go ahead and chill. Nocturne has no ultimate, so. Just chill for a bit. Just chilling. Talon's at tower, which is the most important thing, because I he would be able to kill me if he came down, so 
I have no ultimate, dude. I don't think this is a good idea. Oh, he's going for Nocturne instead, I see. Super close. Yeah, super, super close. Nicely done, dude. Okay, I guess I back at this point. Then I'm not gonna be able to fight him. Oh, he knows I'm here. Ah, uh, I messed up. Actually, he messed up. Oh, he messed up. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, he missed both his skill shots. That's crazy. That is actually kind of crazy. Yeah, that's actually really crazy that he missed out both his skill shots. Alright, I'm close to level 10. I think I might be able to make a play here, guys. What do you guys think? I think it could be tangible. I don't know. Alright, it's back. Alright, I'm gonna get some components and we're gonna beat him up. Yeah, let's beat him up. Let's beat him up. Alright. All right, I got close up in 35. Let's make a play. Got conditioning up in 24 uh, seconds, too. Yeah, this is going to be a prime opportunity for us to go and blow him up. He's going to strike breaker as well. Nice to done. Good job, team. Swing's getting some good traction this game. Well done, team. Quite remarkable there. Right, let's go for two plates here, I think. Yeah, with the Doran's Blade, you hit towers a bit harder, too. So that's something noteworthy. Nice. All right, he doesn't have stride. I don't have stride either. But I have ghost available, and I have conditioning, too. Let's go ahead and uh, fight this dude. I'm going to wait for him to check this brush, I think, that we engage. What we can do, technically, is I uh, wait for him to extend in this brush, and then we go for the kill. Yeah, we can play this patiently. I have the level advantage. Okay. Flash down. That's actually a really good exchange. Yeah, because we can attempt the uh, dive now. I hit level 11 on this wave. I think I do at least, right? Yeah, the cannon, right? Yeah, we do. So if he stays, we kill. If not, we take the tower. Okay, so he recalls. Yeah, I think this is our choice, actually. Actually, no, wait, what the heck? Okay, he got me, but I got him too. Oof, really close there. Yeah, I guess I should have hard tunneled with the tower instead. Um, it was close. All right, we got our item. He gets his item too. His flash is still down though. So once I get my flash up, I can probably go for a big play. Yeah, that was almost first blood tower. Bonus. Hopefully, uh, bot lane can get first blood tower on their end. Gets the Kogma. Yeah, he's just done, dude. Nicely done there, dude. Whatever, Ravenous Hunter. Um, I don't think the rune is too good. Yeah, I don't like Domination on Garen um, for top lane. For mid lane, it's a different story because you get to access all lanes pretty early into the game. But for top lane, if I'm playing versus Gnar, 
if I'm playing versus Gnar, I'm operating most of the, the game top lane, so I'm not going to be able to hunt for stacks, so... Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Ravenous. Not a big fan of Ravenous. Flash is down. I mean, his uh, jump is down. I right, get ready to engage. Wait for his strike picker. Nice. Fantastic. Gotta be careful about Nocturne, though. I have an ocean though, I think we should be fine, right? Oh, we dodged the kill? That's actually so great. Oh my god, yeah, we dodged the kill, which uh, prevents him from getting both attack damage on that. That's so great. Good job. Nice still. Alright, let's go into Deadman Sucks. Yeah, that was first blood tower bonus too. So. All right, so we're gonna go Devons into the Starox into um, Spirit Passage, then maybe a maybe a uh, Force of Nature to get more MR for Kogma because he's gonna be the most threatening pick at that point. But he's got Kraken Slayer, so I don't even know if that's gonna work. <laughs> we'll have to see. What's the worst Karen skin? Uh, I think it's Sanguine. Yeah, the uh, Splash Art's amazing. The model is. Okay, I guess I kind of gave up. Okay, I guess I kind of gave up there. Um, <laughs> Alright, guys. Yeah, he went Mercs too versus me. I don't know if that's a good idea. I'm a, I'm a physical damage healing champion with a true damage ultimate. I don't know if that's actually a good idea. You know what I'm saying? Alright, let's go for this uh, ward and let's go for the next uh, tower. I check the red though. Red time available. Let's talk about Shaco. Shaco, pretty waco. Went a little bit too ham there, guys. A little bit too ham. If I had more people available, I would collapse on that, but I'm not going to be looking to buy. Uh, I'm not looking to uh, 1v4 just yet. Yeah, I have a bounty on my head. Go to the dragon, though. Thos doesn't have TP, though, so I think we may have to give this. I could possibly engage with Ghost. Got him in the Invis. Feels good, man. Oh, they got me, though. That's unfortunate. Get the Kogma. Not bad, not bad. All right, we got the Dragon 2, which is great. That puts us up to 3. So I think that was the real uh, the real uh, prize of uh, trying to force that fight. Yeah, I patched so correctly that I actually uh, assumed that Talon would change directions into his team. So I actually got him while he was uh, stealth. That's actually really, really good. No, not bad, not bad.
think he was typing. Yeah, uh, in the middle of the fight, that doesn't sound like the best idea, you know? Because he casted some of his abilities, so I don't know. I think he just kind of gave up. Pokemon got a lot of gold, though. We have to be careful. He's got his Rage Blade now. Yeah, we got to be really careful. Get that page. Up to 11 spins, thanks to the dagger. Wait, if the worst skin is Sanguine, why is there a command for it? Uh, because it's a meme. It's a meme. Which region are you playing on? I'm playing on the Wakanda server. Wakanda forever. Ah, oh, that's definitely good. Ah, oh, it's a problem. Okay, we got we got the Kog'Maw dead. Okay, nicely done, team. Good job. That was a little scary there, but thankfully we had to focus on Kog. Um, also, uh, saw stealing uh, Nocturne Ultimate is really, really crazy good. Yeah, unbelievably. Fantastic. Alright, so I'll probably rotate bottom after because I don't think they're going to let me take the tier three. Yeah, I think this game's in the back, to be honest. We just have to go through the motions and just wait for uh, an extract. Then we'll go take Baron after. Yeah, ideally we want to close the game out in the next eight minutes because if we get past 30, Cockwell's going to be a big problem, so... I'll wait for uh, 40 gold to get my stocks, and then we should be good to go. Okay, nice. Right, pretty strong. Oh, yeah, I said I was going to get Bramble this game. I, I guess we should just go for that next and then just sell the dagger for um, the Spear Passage. Yeah, Bramble technically would be really good here. All who threaten the muscle will be annihilated. Oh, we got Talon. Where's Nar? Got the whole team here today. All right. Okay. Can Triforce still be used? Yeah, it can be. It's just that I think Stripe Picker is just better in almost every circumstance. Uh, the only circumstance that Trinity Force is better if you're is exclusively spell pushing. If you're not planning on doing that and you're team fighting generally, it's just better to go stride, right? like the big thing. I want to see if I can ban the open down. Oh my god, Nox are actually whipped. Crazy. Oh, 
All right, guys, another game in the back. Really, really good NAR matchup. Very, very not, uh, good NAR matchup. That's what I like to see for this one. Good stuff, guys. If Stripebreaker didn't have the passive, the other items are more valuable. Yeah, I think it's just because Stripebreaker is way too strong right now. Um, it's being picked up by a plethora of uh, melee champions who value its mobility and target access. So I would be of the opinion that I think Stripebreaker needs to be nerfed. Yeah, um, I don't know what Riot Games, uh, what their metrics are going by, um, but I think Stripebreaker is kind of OP. Because it's definitely propelling the win rate of a lot of champions right now. Um, and several champions have been nerfed because of it. Darius is one of them. So... Darren's going to be one of them, too. Yep, Garen's going to be one of them, too, if this keeps up, so... I'm just saying, guys, 11.6, I think, is when it's going to happen. Garen's going to get hit, and it's going to be pretty bad. All right, guys, two more wins, and we get this count into V1, which is cool to see. All right, I'm going to go uh, get a beverage, though, because I'm getting quite parched. I'm also going to go to the bathroom and run some ads, so we'll be back in a few minutes, guys, okay?